We're waiting for a change. We're 
long time. I want to tell you something. Don't give up. That's God's word. You can stand on his word. It's established forever. We're going to see these things come that he's promised. Hold on. Just wait a little while longer. We will see his change. And then one. God's going to change us to be like Him. Hallelujah. We're invited to a wedding of the Lamb. And we're going to stand forever. We're going to be with Him. And then God is going to do the greatest do-over that's ever been. Everything's going to be made new. The Bible says the whole earth is waiting for trying to push me down, push me down, and I get my head up and here he'd go with some of these things and push me back down. And see, back one morning, I just couldn't even hardly get up and get going. And the Lord says, you're waiting on your change. Don't be disheartened. You're waiting on your change. You know, God has healing out there for me. And I know there's a lot of people that are in this shape right now. It seems like the devil is just kind of swamping us in with things. Just trying to beat us down and hold us down. There's so many sicknesses around. And I'm not just talking about COVID, but I think COVID is the root cause of this. Because we're all beat down and discouraged. And when you get discouraged, it's easy for the enemy to put things against you. And our whole focus is on sickness. Our whole focus is on disease. And I think we're becoming targets because of that. But you know, I want to tell you something. God has promised us healing. He's promised this in his word. And it's coming. We're going to be healed. And you've got it coming. You know, if you're struggling with sickness, you've got a change coming. God's word has not gone away. God's healing has not gone away. His spirit has not gone away. It's just not become what we're focused on. And we need to remember this. And we need to take heart. We need to get in his word more than we get in the news and we get on Facebook. 
We need to get out the promises that he's given us. And we need to renew our mind, renew our strength in his word. But there's something else that's coming that I believe with all my heart. And I get my information straight from the source. And that's the word of God. The word of God says that in the last days there's going to be coming up pouring out. A mighty pouring out of his spirit. And we're going to see a change. It's going to be a tremendous change. It's going to bring a great healing for his people. It's going to be great strength. It's going to be great gifts that are going to pour out on his people. And the Bible says that we're going to do mighty things. We're going to be the same thing. We're going to be doing the same things that Jesus did, only greater. And where do I get that information? I got that from him. He says it in his word. We're going to be doing some amazing things. We're not defeated. Church, we're not defeated. Rise up out of that funk that you're in. Just ahead, there's coming a great change. I tell you, the Lord showed me something. He showed me some great, huge vats of oil. And he, he was giving people keys. And these keys were given to the people that were obedient. And they, they were all kinds of people. They were little, young people. They were older people. They were people given to people that might be feeling like they're worthless and that they, they can't do anything for the Lord because they're older. But these keys were acts of obedience. And when we did those acts of obedience, it poured out that oil. It just kind of, it just like it reached up and just, oh, pulled over that oil. And that great, great, those great, huge vats of oil just came pouring down and submersing us. We're waiting for a change, church. We're waiting for a change. God has some things that he has put in your heart. Hold on to them. Hold on to them. We've got some things that we've been holding on to for years. And I know we're going to see them in our ministry and in our church. We're going to see them. Because where have I got that information? God promised us in our heart. God promised Abraham some things. And every detail of everything he promised came about and the nation of Israel stands triumphant today because of that. God is a faithful God. He will keep his word that he speaks to you. He will honor that word that he speaks to you. He will honor your obedience. God gives you something to do, do it. Because we're waiting on a change and that's going to release that change. Our obedience is going to release that change. They number one thing that the devil's doing is saying why it won't make any difference what you do. We've lost. We've lost and we're defeated. Oh no, we're not. We're just waiting. We're just waiting. We're just waiting on that change. We're waiting on that change. And it's coming. It's coming. I don't care the, how big the devil seems. I don't care how big the enemy that's set against us. I don't care how big he, he is parading his stuff around. He's making us feel defeated. He's making us feel scared. And that fear is a number one bondage that is locking us up and locking us down and holding us down from rising up. But get out your word. I want you to read some things and I'm going to be playing them here on the screen as I'm talking. I want you to read some things about the church. The church is not defeated. The church is victorious. Why are they coming against the church? Because they're scared of the church. I say that all the time in these things. So rise up, children of God. Rise up and be the church that God anointed you to do. Hold your head up. Get your hands up. Start praising Him. Get your mind and your heart in His Word. And wait. Wait just a little while longer. Because we're waiting for our change. 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 You, child of God, you are waiting for your change. Your promises are coming. Your promises are coming just ahead. Hold on to those things that he's promised you. Hold on to those things in the, in his word. His word has been settled forever. And his word was spoken. And those words that were spoken are bringing about. They have enough power to bring about this stuff that's going to come up ahead of us. They're going to bring about that victory that we've got just ahead of us. Us. It's going to bring about our change. That's how powerful the word is. And that's how powerful our God is. 
And let me tell you something else about how powerful he is. One day, when he says it's enough, it's enough victory. <laughs> you know, sometimes we think, oh, oh man, I, w- I want the Lord to come back because I can't handle this. But here in a little while, we're going to be saying, you know, God, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. This born out of your spirit is so wonderful. God, we've got the victory because of that. We've got the great, great boost of strength. And we are being and doing what he has ordained and anointed us to do. And then, then when when we're in that victory, then we're going to be out of here. And I'll tell you something. You know, we used to look up at the clouds. My mom would say, you know, that looks like a cloud that the Lord might come come out from. You know, I, I think of that a lot. One day we're going to have the greatest change that we've ever had. He's just going to say, come on home, Brian. Come on home. You're invited to a dinner. Come on home, my children. We're going to just rise up. I used to be so afraid because I thought, what? What am, I, what am I supposed to do? How, how will I? I might miss that. But it's not something we have to do. It's something he's going to do. You just got to keep your heart right and your mind centered on him. You focus on him in your heart, in his, in his ways. Don't let the devil cheat you out of that. Whatever you do, there's nothing or nobody that's worth missing that for. But we're going to see him and we're just going to rise up. He's just going to lift us right up. It's that Holy Ghost anointing that has been bringing about the change on earth. We'll just bring about this great change. We're going to rise up to be him. And then we'll go and watch some amazing things. The end outcome of that is he's going to change the whole heavens. He's going to rearrange everything. The whole heavens and the whole earth. Everything is going to be made new. Talk about a change. He's able to do that, child of God. He's able to do that just because His Word spoken. That's all. That's how He created everything. He spoke it with His Word and it became about. And this great change is going to be that same way. Is He able to keep you? Is He able to? To defeat the powers of hell that think they are controlling right now? Is he able to lift you up and make you be victorious? Yes, he is, child of God. Grab hold of his hand. Don't lose hope. Don't be disheartened. We're just waiting. Be encouraged while you wait. Be strengthened in him while you wait. Keep your focus on him. Know that he can bring this about. We're not defeated. We're just warming up. Because we're waiting, church. We're waiting for that change. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for that victory. Thank you, God, for touching these people that hear this. God, thank you for touching it with a great anointing of encouragement to pull off those mantles those grave clothes of discouragement God let them see you instead of what is going on in the world the devil he's just strutting himself and we got all our focus on him God let them focus on you and God let them hold on let them hold on and be encouraged because we are waiting on your change God thank you we praise you God Hallelujah, glory. Hallelujah, glory. Hallelujah, glory. Hallelujah, glory. Thank you, God. We praise you. God, we praise you. God, we praise you, Lord. Hallelujah, glory. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, glory, 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 glory. Habadio, shorada. Ikorio, shatadio, nana. Ikabala baba hiyo kosa hai, ikorio sarabaya. 
Hallelujah. 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 Oh, my children. Oh, my children. Gather to me. Gather to me. The enemy has spoken, but he is defeated. And my line of Judah will roar. And you will see victory. You will see a great victory beyond that that you could even imagine or dream. Because my change is coming. My change is coming. Don't be disheartened, but keep your eyes on me and my word. I will lift you up out of where you are, my child. My child, hold to my hand. We have a great change coming. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, God. Wait, wait. 